And imagine Azarenka is now feeling the pressure because Not all about the serve when you can do that. Not up. It's really good play. You instinctively think, well, they must have some doubts. One of Azarenka's biggest strengths. She makes it look. And she makes it with one of those trademark forehands, looks towards the heavens, father's pleased. Well, the only surprise is it took more than 40 minutes for her to get there in scintillating form. The power game from Alicia Parks enables her to take the first set 6-2 against Azarenka. Nonchalant as well. What a game. Oh, magical. We're in the magic box in Madrid and you don't get better tricks than that. Someone like Azarenka, it's a way to get her confidence up if you start serving half heartedly second serves. You go for your big weapon. Well, it wasn't a slice of luck that time, took the pace off the ball, and the break is made. Well, Not much wrong with that point. 2011, losing to Kvitova and losing to Serena the following year in the second of her two finals here. Great rally. Crowd enjoyed it. Ended 2022 after that tournament with 10 straight wins. Plus one. Three shot rally to perfection. Tie breaks this year on tour. Azarenka has lost more than she's won. Parks has won four out of four. But she's a breakdown to the first point in the tie break. I think she's due a couple. Back of the heartache there, but off the back of two previous aces. She waits for the error this time, and Azarenka's forehand is wild, and it is another upset at the Mutua Madrid Open. She looks to the heavens again, but it was all about the power game and the coolness in those big situations. She takes the tie break and she takes the match. Out goes the former finalist and former world number one. Alicia Parks comes through 6-2, 7-6. Oh, what a performance from the young American. It really did look like it was getting a bit tricky for her at the end, didn't it? But she held her nerve.